So my name is Stephanie Kelb. I'm a clinical psychology graduate student here at Northwestern University in the Cognitive Neurology and Alzheimer's Disease Center. Um, so we do a lot of studies here related to aging um, and dementia, and specifically Alzheimer's disease, and looking at um, potential ways to prevent and help treat people who have Alzheimer's disease and dementia. It's nice to feel like we're helping and, and contributing to, to a cause that's so important. So I was born and raised um, in a small town in central Pennsylvania called Lancaster. Um, it's just outside of Philadelphia. Um, I went to high school there and then I went to Baltimore, Maryland for my undergrad at Johns Hopkins. Um, and there I studied public health and psychology and became really interested in the field of psychology and studying uh, people and the way that they think and behave. Um, and so I ended up working on this study of people who have ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. And it was just working with directly with patients and the idea that we were learning um, about things that weren't known about the disease and that what we were going to discover would ultimately help these patients and their families who you could see were just suffering so much. That's really what made me want to continue with research and go to graduate school um, and keep doing studies because um, you're learning information that, that we don't know and that can help people. The broader goal of my research would really be early identification of people who have dementia. So identifying them at an early stage before they develop um, really uh, big symptoms. My dissertation study is looking at older adults who have what we call subjective cognitive decline. So people who um, think they're having problems with their memory but are not actually are actually performing normally on cognitive tests, maybe at the earliest, earliest stages of Alzheimer's disease. Um, and so we're studying what um, personality factors and emotional factors um, are associated with people who have a subjective complaint to see if we can help characterize people who may be at risk for developing dementia later on. I'm specifically looking at um, different tests that are non-invasive and are would be cost effective so that we could screen people who are at um, early stages but also maybe in lower resource areas so um, don't necessarily have the money to get an expensive um, scan or other medical procedures but we could still get the same information from them and be able to make early diagnoses in all sorts of groups. Well, something I'm really interested in is um, education and working with not only patients, but also their families. And in research, you get the, the really unique aspect of doing work that um, serves patients, but also um, helps their families. Because a lot of times people um, with dementia, their spouses and their children and other family members um, have a huge amount of stress and burden and we're able to um, speak with them and educate them and provide support that may be able to help them at least a little bit um, in their really difficult time. So I would encourage anyone thinking about going into the medical field to read about what what it is that interests them and keep studying and look up some of the research that's being done on whatever it is that they're interested in, whether it's a certain disease or a certain group of people. For me, like thinking about uh, memory and the way that people think, um, but whatever it is that, that interests a person, I would say to continue reading and just explore your curiosity. And if it's something you're really interested in, then you may consider um, looking at a research lab at a local university and trying to volunteer or work in a lab and get some experience to research and you can see what the the day-to-day -day aspects of science are like and you'll see that they're pretty great. <laughs>